Welcome to Mermaid Leather. My name's Andrew McDermott, co-founder of Australia's only fish and shark leather tannery. Well, I thought about looking at exploring different options, different ways of gathering added value to the fishing industry. So, after a lot of thought and a lot of examining different options, the uh, tanning of fish leather was our preferred option. Remove the flesh and the scales, then there's lots of things in the fibres that have to be taken out. And then once we do that, we have the, 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 the skins pretty well prepared to take a tannage. There's no textbook written on it. Um, it's a whole brand new process. We handle at the wet end each skin up to 30 times. We use a lot of the gums and the wattles, uh, natural bark tannins, and we, we, we gather them from the timber mills in the southwest. And they have their own colours. Some of those colours are beautiful. The tans and the honey colours, they're gorgeous. When a skin comes out and it dries, of course, like, like anything, even linen, when you dry it on the line, sometimes crinkles and creases, and those creases have to be removed. Um, the hide has to be flattened, and we break it to release all the fibres and to soften it. The dry end work determines the, the way it's going to be used at the end of its time here in the tannery. So it just depends on what the client wants from the leather and what they're going to use it for, which is important for us to know so that we can treat that leather accordingly. We have found through experimenting with various items that you can make and produce a lot of different items, uh, right down to tiny things like buttons and earrings, all the way up to um, very wide and very long women's fashion belts. But it's really is only as limited as your imagination.